Hi all, today's topic is normal distribution. So for a problem 5. So normal distribution for a problem 5. So this is our question. In an examination, if the student get 30 or more, he will pass. If he secured 60% or more mark, he will get a first class. If he secured between 45 and 60, get a second class. And between 30 percent and 45 percent he will get a third class and then he will get a distinction if uh, he get more than 80 percent of marks it is found that 10 percent of the students failed and 5 percent obtained the distinction and calculate the percentage of the students placed in the second class okay so from the given data one by one we have to write it is given to be first class 60 percent for a secured second class 45 to 60% that is only question in this R to second class. Third class, 30 to 45% third class. More than 80% means it is a distinction. 10% of the students failed and 5% got a distinction. So, these and all we need to write it in a form of probability. So, first we will use in probability of x less than 30 percent is nothing but is given to be okay so 10 percent is a failure 10 percent is a failure it's nothing but 0 0.1 so x less than 30 is 0 0.1 so it is given to be distinction means 80 percent when probability of x greater than 80 percent is 5 percent distinction. So, it is nothing but 0 0.05. Only this two condition it is given in the question. Other condition and all, it is the percentage of the mark. It is not given. So, I cannot use that. I will have it. Okay. So, now I have to write it in terms of standard normal variate. First, I will take a one first case and I will write it. The same way, second case, I will write it. Find the mean and standard deviation. The final question, it is asked for second class. Second class means it is between 45 to 60 percent I need to calculate. So, correspondingly, I will calculate. Second class is nothing but 45 to 60 percent. At the end, I will calculate. Now, first I will use first equation. Probability of x is less than 30. So, when I write it in a standard normal variate, x minus mu divided by sigma is less than 30 minus mu divided by sigma equal to 0 0.1. So, probability of Z is less than 30 minus mu divided by sigma equal to 0 0.1. So, roughly when I draw a diagram, so this is here Z1. So, the shape will be this. So, it is nothing but 0 0.1. plus probability of 0 is less than z is less than 30 minus mu divided by sigma equal to 0 0.1. So, probability of 0 is less than z is less than 30 minus mu divided by sigma equal to 0 0.1 minus 0 0.5. It's nothing but minus 0 0.4. So, minus symbol I have to remove it. So, when I remove it, I can write this probability of 0 is less than z is less than mu minus 30 divided by sigma equal to 0 0.4. Now, 0 0.4 table value you have to check. Table value we when we check it. So, mu minus 30 divided by sigma, what is the table value? Corresponding table value we have to check in the table value. 0 0.4 table value we have to cross check okay so when i cross check what is my table value so go with the table value 0 0.4 0 0.4 
this is 0 0.4, no? 0 0.4 SR, this I can write. Both are same only. 0 0.4 this can use and this 0 0.4. Anything I can use. So when I use it, this is 1.28. Uh, My answer is 1.28 or 1.29. I can use as 1.28 or 1.29. I can use. Okay. So when I use it, my table value is 1.28. I will use 1.28 is my table value. 1.28. So one part completed. Now I have to do it for another case also. Same procedure. I have to complete it. So now when I complete it for other case, is x greater than? Probability of x minus mu divided by sigma is greater than 80 minus mu divided by sigma equal to 0 0.05. So, probability of z is greater than 80 minus mu divided by sigma equal to 0 0.05. So, roughly when I draw a diagram, so it's greater than means this is here is at 1. So, this is our region. So, it's nothing but 0 to infinity is 0.5 minus probability of 0 is less than z is less than 80 minus mu divided by sigma equal to 0 0.05. So minus probability of 0 is less than z is less than 80 minus mu divided by sigma equal to 0 0.05 minus 0 0.5. Is something but minus 0 0.45, so minus symbol minus symbol cancel. So probability of 0 is less than z is less than 80 minus mu divided by sigma equal to 0 0.45. At the 0 0.45, the table value you have to check in the answer which table value I am getting 0 0.45. So it's 80 minus mu divided by sigma. What is the table value? Check with the table value. So when I check it, 0 0.45, that is about 0 0.45, 0 0.45, 0 0.45, this is 45 now, this or this, any one you can take it, this you can take it, 1.60, so 1.64 or 65 anything our options only 1.64 or 65 it is near so this is our first equation this is our second equation solve both you will be getting your mean and standard deviation so mu minus 30 equal to 1.28 sigma so minus mu plus 80 d equal to 1.64 sigma to simplify this, I'll be getting my mu to be 2 so sigma and I simplify 50, 50 divided by 2.92. So 50 divided by 2.92 so is nothing but uh, calculated on the limit 17.12. 17 my sigma is 17.12 so mu substitute in mu so mu i'll be getting 30 plus 1.28 into 17.12 so mu is nothing but 52 so i got mu to be 52 and sigma to be 17.12 okay it is not completed we have to do what is the second class? Second class, it is between 45 to 60. So what is the question? It is asked second class. Second class, 45 to probability of 45 is less than x is less than 60 is a question asked for a second class. 
so same way standard normal variate convert into standard normal variate 45 minus mu divided by sigma is less than x minus mu divided by sigma is less than 60 minus mu divided by sigma okay now substitute mu is 52 and the standard deviation is 17 so probability of uh, 45 minus 52 divided by standard deviation when I subtract it, I'll be getting 0 0.41 is less than is at is less than 0 0.47. So when I have a negative to positive any number, okay. So already this uh, we have seen in some negative, negative to positive somewhere, okay. So if it is the region is like this, so now this plus this I have to add okay so it is nothing but probability of 0 is less than is it is less than 0 0.41 plus probability of 0 is less than is it is less than 0 0.47 because y minus symbol when you may ask minus is nothing but symmetric symmetric means it becomes the positive mm -hmm. So, the table value for 0 0.41, the table value for 0 0.41. So, the table value we will check. So, 0 0.41, what is the table value? 0 0.41. So, 0 point, 0 0.41. What is my table value? So it is 0 0.1591. Same way another table 0 0.47. 47 where it is here. 0 0.1808. This both only I have to add. 0 0.1808. Okay, 1808. So substitute both answer. So, 0 0.1591 plus 0 0.1808. Okay. So, it is. Uh, zero 0.08. So, when I add it, 0 0.34 I am getting. So, 34% is second class. Everything it's mentioned in the percent. So, this also second class is 34% is second class. We have completed. So, next question. In an examination, the mark obtained by the student in a max, physics and chemistry are normally distributed. Marks has been three, three subjects, okay. So, mean and standard deviations are given, okay. One mean means it's easy. It is uh, three means are given. So, three standard deviations are been given. How we have to do? Find the probability of securing the marks 180 or above. More than greater than 180 only it is asked. Greater than or equal to 180 it is asked. So, first step. Three means are given means how we have to make it as a single mean. So, we know that mu mean is nothing but mu. Mu means it is nothing but expectation. Expectation of whatever that x. Okay. So, first mean. First mean mu1 plus mu2 plus mu3. It's no three means. So, add everything. So, formula is nothing but E of mu1 plus E of uh, mu2 plus E of mu3. So, add the, all the three mean, we will get the total mean. So, when I add it, 50 plus 52 plus 48, 8, 10. So, 150. Mean is 150. Same with standard deviation. Sigma squared is nothing but variance of all the standard deviation. Okay. So, this variance of all the three variables. So, variance, I will use sigma 1. Okay. Sigma 2, sigma 3. I will use the notation to be this. Okay. So, now it is nothing but variance is a variance of 1 plus 2 plus 3. Okay. So, sigma 1 squared plus sigma 2 squared plus sigma 3 squared is the variance. So, add everything squared. This is standard division. This is sigma squared. So, 15 squared. So, 15 squared is 225. 
12 square 144 and 16 square 256 add everything so it is 6 to 5 okay so sigma is nothing but 25 square only 6 to 5 okay now sigma x we have calculated 25 mu 150 both now calculated to be single data now whatever the question it is asked we can do it so what is the question it is asked in the problem find 180 and above you have to find it for a 180 above so probability of x has to be greater than or equal to 180 so how we have to do first subtract it with x minus mu divided by sigma is greater than or equal to 180 minus mu divided by sigma so it's nothing but the probability of z is greater than or equal to 180 minus 150 divided by standard deviation 25 so when i divide it so probability of z is greater than or equal to 30 30 by 25 1.2 is greater than 1.2 1.2 draw a roughly diagram so it is 1.2 this is somewhere 1.2 means this is our region so this is our region means how i have to do 0.5 minus probability of 0 is less than z is less than uh, 1.2 we have to see the table value table value for 1.2 we have to check so I will show you the table value for this 1.2. Table value for 1.2. This is our table value 1.2. So 0 0.3849. 3849. Subtract it with that 3849. 38. So the table value is 0.3849 subtraction when i do it i am getting the answer to be 0.1151 so completed this is the way we have to do when 3 mean and 3 standard deviation it is extended for 4 or 5 etc whatever the data is given the same procedure only thank you